I have a job for you too. Oh, great. Look, Princess Peach has an idea. Yeah, but what is it? Let's make jelly stickers and then stick them all over Bowser's castle. That ought to teach him to come and bother us. Oh no, I don't know about that. The last thing I want is Bowser to come after us. Hey, why did everyone leave me behind? Jelly stickers, here I come. Hey everyone, today we are making some Mario jelly stickers. So we have this really cool Super Mario activity book. It has lots of fun activities in there, but I'm actually gonna use some of the pictures in here as a template to make some awesome jelly stickers. And we can do that with this really cool paint. It's just simple old gallery glass paint. So what do you say? We pick some pictures and we start making our our very own jelly stickers and finding all sorts of places to stick them to. So the first picture I had in mind was this really cool picture of Mario smushing an Oompa Loompa. Wait, that's not an Oompa Loompa. It's a Goomba. Look at it. It's all smushed and flat. <laughs> so funny. This is a cool one. We have Mario and his brother. And this one too. You can actually make up a lot of scenes with this one here. So how exactly are we going to do this? Well, I'll show you how. It's using one of these things. It's basically a sheet protector that you can put your homework in or your binder paper in, drawings in, and you can make jelly stickers on them because the paint will easily peel off of it. I've got all my paints right over here and starting off, we're gonna use black because we're gonna do the outline first. All right, so you wanna wait a couple minutes for your paint to dry a little bit so that when we add the new colors, it doesn't become a blobby mess. Now let's add royal blue for his overalls. For his hair, mustache, and boots, we're gonna use cocoa brown. It's really light now, but once it dries, it's gonna go darker. Now let's do blue diamond for his eyes. I'm gonna use frosted sand for the bottom of his boots because they're a little lighter than the top brown parts. We can make him extra fancy and use this gold for the buttons on his overalls. For his skin, I'm gonna mix this frosted sand with some white because frosted sand is going to dry a little bit on the orangey side. So let's mix our own little blend of paint. So we're done with the Mario jelly sticker. Let's move on to the Mario and the Luigi jelly sticker. For Luigi, we're gonna need his signature green.
Now it's Princess Peach's turn. Let's use her dolly as inspiration. Yep, it's Toad's turn. It's about time. Same process like all the other ones. We're gonna outline him in black and then fill him in with all the colors. stickers are completely dry we can tear them off the protective sheet and stick them anywhere we want look at shiny it is let's start off with our huge princess peach sticker it should come off pretty easy nice all right so here we have a giant princess peach window sticker and here's the other side this is the more smoother side and this side is the more textured side where we put our paint on now let's put this right here and we can tear off her name sticker let's start off on a little corner right here here you go here's her princess peach name sticker so here i have my laptop we can decorate our electronics with it here's princess peach and the cool thing about these window stickers is that they are completely removable and you can put them on somewhere else if you're tired of having it on the same thing so now let's do super mario brothers luigi and mario we're gonna take these off just like princess peach very careful not to tear the sticker there's mario oh where's his head so let's put mario right here just for fun and we can get luigi on here too Here's Luigi, he turned out pretty good too. Oh, I forgot the blacks of his eyes, nah. 
Oh well, he's gonna have galaxy eyes. So whatever background we put Luigi on, he's gonna pick up the color of that for his pupils. <laughs> there, ooh, doesn't that look cool? Or we can completely switch out the peach with the Super Mario Brothers. Let's see if that'll fit. We can always move the stickers around. Oh, look how neat that looks, especially on this side, but it will be backwards. So we're gonna have to put it on this lumpy bumpy side, but it's cool, it's like a 3D sticker. Let's move Princess Peach up, can we? Do we have enough space? And then we'll move the Super Mario Brothers logo up here. Yeah, we have enough space. Let's get the next sticker off of here. Ooh, look at the sparkly blue one. The blue one had sparkles in it. And, oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, so it doesn't fit my laptop this way. We barely got it on there, but that looks pretty cool. And we can always put it on our windows or the original plan was to get it on Bowser's castle. This time, let's use Toad. We have a huge Toad sticker just like our Princess Peach one. So if you're a Toad fan, <laughs> You can have him on your iPad. Here's Toad's name. Or you can put these stickers on your binders. The binders with the little plastic thingies, the blank ones. That's pretty cute. That's a little Toad iPad. We had one more sticker and it was this one of Mario. Make sure you go slowly so it doesn't tear. Here he is on this side and here he is on this side. Cool. So I'm gonna get Mario right over here. Oh, it doesn't stick on the other side. Okay, so let's do it right over here. There's Mario. And we can get his brother on here, Luigi. So both sides will definitely stick on a window, but both sides will not stick on your laptop. So Luigi has to face this way on the smooth side. Super Mario Brothers. Give him a press. And there you go! You have a custom Super Mario Brothers iPad. Kill. Ah! It's raining fruit roll-ups! You buffoons! This is not my castle! It's an even better idea! <laughs> they really do look like fruit roll-ups.